Hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny. I'm from Jenny Kerr Designs. Thanks so much for stopping by today. My YouTube channel contains content that is intended to share paper crafting tutorials and inspiration with all of you. I hope that you enjoy. Okay, so for today's video, I'm going to be taking 12 sheets of this beautiful pattern paper. This is some paper that came in a Simon Says Stamp a card kit sometime last year. So I'm going to take these pattern papers and I'm going to turn them into a set of Christmas cards. Next up, I have my little bin here of all of the things that I need. I have everything organized in a little uh, pull-out bin with top folding note cards, side folding note cards, and I've got little dividers in between. I've got some card panels, I've got some craft foam, and some 5x7 card bases. I just really love the way that this looks, and it's it's so neat and organized, and if I don't have any sort of inspiration or desire to create anything, I cut stuff up and I create you know, organized methods for my card making. So this is a fun little tip um, to get yourself moving along in your craft space when you've got nothing to do. So I did this and then I decided to make some Christmas cards. So first I'm going to start by cutting up my pattern paper. So I like to mass produce when I'm creating a whole bunch of cards. I like to kind of do all the steps at once. So I'm going to take my trimmer and I'm going to take this piece of cardstock and I'm going to cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then I'm going to rotate it and cut it at three inches. So I get two panels that measure three by four and a quarter. And then I have this strip left over. So this will give me two card fronts and I'll just center it on the front of a card. Simple, but you know, striking. So then I decided to take this leftover strip and I'm just going to cut it in half. It's a little less than one inch. So it's like, you know, seven eighths of an inch or something like that, whatever it is. I just cut it in half. So I use that little strip and adhere it on the inside of my card. And that's what I'm going to do with this pattern paper. So I'll have minimal amount of waste with this entire pack. And I'll run through all of these designs and cut them up in the exact same fashion. And this is what we got. We have enough panels to make 24 cards. So all of these patterns are very different and whimsical and artsy. They have a lot of interest in them, so I really don't have to do a whole lot to these cards. So I'll adhere the panel down into the, to the center of my card base. And I'm just using a sticky dot runner for this. This is a Kokuyu, Kokuyoyo, Kokuyuyu, <laughs> something like that uh, tape runner that I picked up from Amazon. I'll leave it linked down below because it is the best tape runner ever. It's got so much inside of one roll. It's unbelievable. And you'll find that you won't refill it as often as you would any other tape runner. It's just a little quick tip there. And then I'll apply some adhesive on the inside of the card base and apply that little strip. And then I'll take some scissors and cut off that little extra piece. I'll run through all of my cards and I'll do the same thing. And I'll keep that little strip off to the side. I'll show you how we can use that later on. So I'll go ahead and I'll hear all of my card panels to the front of my card and my little strips on the inside of my card. Super easy, you know, it's really not very complicated, but it creates a fun looking card and we're able to mass produce 24 cards in a matter of a few minutes. And then the rest of it I'll do off screen. I take all of this pile of cards with me to work in a little bin with all the things I need. So on my lunch break, I can sit down, take a bit of a break from, you know, the stress of my job and glue pieces together. So this is my little travel kit that I created to take to work with me. So I had a bone folder, some glue and some scissors, and I adhered all of my pieces to my card on the inside and the outside. And then I have a stack of little leftover strips. And then all these cards are ready to put some sentiments on. So here's a look at all of the designs that we got out of that paper pack. Super fun, whimsical. I really like it. Okay, so now the next thing we're going to do is 
Okay, so I'll show you a little quick way to use up some of these little excess scraps. So I just take my scissors and I cut down the center about, you know, half an inch up and then cut from the corner to that half an inch slice and create a little banner. And then you can sort of glue this on your card wherever to create a little bit of fun interest or, and then those little pattern papers don't go to waste. Now I couldn't make up my mind where I wanted to put these on my card bases, so I left them off. I really fought with myself, so I just put them off to the side and moved along to the sentiment. Now for the sentiment for this card, I'm using the Gina K Designs Seasonal Greetings Mini Stamp Set, and all I did was stamp this a bunch of times on black cardstock, and I heat embossed it, and then stuck them in a little envelope so that I had a bunch of them whenever I needed to make Christmas cards. So I went ahead and I trimmed these up using my paper trimmer and I adhered the little strip sentiment on the cards and I kind of moved them around from the top of the card to the bottom of the card to the center, just whatever I felt worked with the particular pattern paper. And I just ran through all of these different sentiments, wishing you joy, winter wishes, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, peace, love and joy. Just a really fun variety of Christmas sentiments and then they really sort of pack a punch because they're nice and dark and and because that black sort of pops right off it gives that sentiment a very nice base so it looks great I'm really happy with how easy it is for this entire collection of cards to come along so here we are all done 24 Christmas cards all sort of different and they got their own little you know vibe going on and Okay, so the next thing I want to do for this set is I want to take some plain white envelopes and step them up a little bit to add some interest to them so that they, you know, gives that little extra touch. So I take a piece of scratch paper. This is just printer paper and I grab an ink pad. I've got Gina K Designs Powder Blue Ink and I have a Gina K Designs Snowflake Background Stamp. And I just stuck that down to my work surface and I'll ink up the stamp just in one part. I don't have to ink up the whole thing. And I insert my envelope into my piece of scratch paper and I flip it over so that the flap is exposed only and press it into my stamp. I rub all over that to make sure I get a good transfer of ink and then I pick it up and this is what we got. We have a beautiful snowflake stamped envelope flap. I really like this. I think it's simple and easy and brings, you know, a really extra stepped up look to these envelopes. Okay, so once that's done, I'm going to clean up my stamp, get that put back away, and then I'll pair my envelopes with the cards. Now off screen, I had stamped sentiments on the inside of each of my cards. I used just a variety of different stamps I had in my stash. I chose four different sentiments. I've got, may all of the joys of Christmas fill your heart and home. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Wishing you a merry Christmas and a happy new year. And wishing you a merry Christmas. So I have four different designs and I'm gonna create packages of four note cards. So you get one of each sentiment in the package. So it gives, you know, the person that's going to be using these a variety and then I'll grab four of my envelopes and pair them together with my cards and then put them in a little stack and then we'll package those up later on. So I'll run through all of those creating six packages of four note cards and four envelopes with four different greetings on them. So now we have a ton of Christmas cards to give away. This is a great sort of gift that you can sell at craft fairs and things like that. And they're just, I don't know, they're so simple and fun and they used up an entire 12 sheets of six by six pattern paper and it ended up with 24 beautiful Christmas cards. So I just have these little card sleeves and I insert four envelopes and four cards into each card sleeve and seal everything shut. The card sleeve was just a little bit bigger than my note card sets, so I just added a little piece of tape so that everything was nice and tight inside. And then here we are, a beautiful set of Christmas note cards, all in just really, truly a matter of minutes. It was super easy, super fun to make, 
and uh, busting up some of that stash of pattern paper that we all hoard. So you could do this with any type of pattern paper that you have for any type of season or birthday or hello or whatever that you want to make and create sets of note cards just like this. I hope that you've gotten some inspiration from today's video. I know that one of my favorite things to do is to shop in my own craft room. I take, you know, my own things that I have that I've spent my money on and try to come up with ways to use them up. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend it here with me. I appreciate the support as always. Coming up on screen is a playlist to an entire series of Chop It Up videos where I share tons of inspiration and techniques to cut up your cardstock to create fun projects in your craft room without having to spend any more money. Thanks again for joining me. Have yourself a lovely day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!